What made the BAFTA tea an event that you absolutely had to stop by today? Well, um, first, if it's British and it's tea, that's automatically fancy. And I'm just trying to, to masquerade as, as someone that's allowed to be here. But, um, it, you know, I got to present at the, the BAFTA Awards um, recently, and that was so exciting. And uh, everyone was so warm and so gracious. And just to be invited to be with this, this group of people is kind of a, a no-brainer. And having Newsroom nominated for a Golden Globe, what does that, what does that mean to you? Well, it's it's just so exciting, you know. You just you do work, and you you hope that people like it, and they can be um, entertained by it. And so when you get an award like this, especially the Golden Globes, and it's so international, and uh, it's so competitive, it's so exciting for us as a freshman series to get it. We were just all over the moon. Now I know everyone says that the Golden Globes is the most fun award show because everyone drinks a little bit too much champagne. What are you most looking forward to about tomorrow's show besides taking home a win? I'm so excited to see Amy Poehler and Tina Fey host. I mean, I thought when I heard that to get the two of them in, on that stage to host, it was the most brilliant idea ever. I don't know why we haven't been doing it every year. I think it's going to be so fun and so exciting. And as a beautiful lady that you are, it's all about the fashion. You look gorgeous today, but what will be your red carpet routine for tomorrow? Well, tomorrow it's going to be to get up early, to have a good night's sleep tonight, and then wake up early, have a good breakfast, and then... Uh, just kind of hopefully that everything's laid out together so there's a good amount of time before I'm usually like racing out the door at the end because I'm a little bit scattered like that so I'm hoping that I everything's laid out so that I have a good 30 minutes before I leave to just calm down and fix anything because usually it's like you you're racing out and for me at least I'm racing out and a million things I'm like oh I've, I've messed because I'm, I'm a fidgeter I have bad OCD and anxiety so like I'll fidget and fidget and then it's too late because I'm walking out the door and I messed everything up so I need 30 minutes to to mess up and then they can put me back together. Okay.